Welcome back to Inside South Florida. Two of the biggest movies this holiday season are The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 and The Big Short. Stars from both of those films were in town to promote their movies, and Jessica Alpern and I chatted them up. Welcome to the 76th Hunger Games. Hi guys, welcome to Miami. Hey, thank you. So, yeah, thinking back, now that this series is coming to an end, what do you guys remember about how you felt when you were first cast in The Hunger Games? Confused. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd, I'd read the books and the description of Finnick O'Dare in the books and quickly realised they'd probably made a mistake <laughs> in casting me. Honestly, I was, on the, I was on the set doing a night shoot of, on another job and I got a phone call. In the middle of a take, the director went, stop, 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 stop filming. Sam, you need to take this. And it was my agent oh, saying so I had the call, had to do, got the job. And I, I remember just being kind of in stunned silence for a good 20 minutes and then immediately calling my mum at like 4 a.m. going, Mum, I got the part. She's like, I need to sleep. <laughs> yeah, she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, never again. Um, I think I was really, really excited. I mean, I, I, I felt like I kind of had to um, fight hard to get to like convince people that I could do it. And she was a character I really wanted to play, so I, I was like over the moon, you know. We all have one enemy. We got a fun question from a viewer for you guys. It's, okay. if you were to have a sleepover with your characters, what do you think would happen? Oh, wow. You don't want to know what's going to happen with mine. It's going to be like yeah, really yours, intense. Yeah, it's going to be very, very intense. I think my, we'd have a really good chat. I think we'd, 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 be like we'd snacks talk, yeah. and chat yeah. and like facials. We'd make tea and have sugar cubes. Yeah, yeah. it'd be really cute. <laughs> but we'd talk. <laughs> we'd definitely talk. Talk about tans, hair. <laughs> If you guys had to describe this series coming to an end, this adventure in your lives, in a hashtag, what would it be? Uh, oh, no, I can't. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's, uh, to sum it all up in one hashtag, it's, it's impossible. Impossible is my hashtag. Yeah, impossible. That's impossible a good one. To do. I can't, yeah. There's so many. Family. Hashtag family. Hashtag family. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that selfie you shared. Yeah, that yeah, was, was insane. Really cute. There was a moment I definitely thought no one was going to join me because the, <laughs> there was loads of fireworks going off behind us, and I was like, "Guys, have a selfie!" Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, Je when the moment Jen Lawrence turns around, everyone's like, "Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, it's all good." Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, it's pretty epic. I'm quite quite proud of it, actually. What would you say is the funniest moment working with her, with Jennifer Lawrence? Oh well, one of the thousand. There are so many so funny many. moments. I'd say one of the thousand times she just tripped over by standing still. <laughs> okay, now I do remember once when we were running through the jungle and she was sort of in the distance. I had an old lady on my back. Josh was just in front of me, but kind of speedy. I was still managing to keep up with him. It was really diff difficult, but all of a sudden, I just remember seeing <laughs> Jen like, <Yeah>. just like, <laughs> out, of, out of my view. Like, just, it was like there was a hole and she just went, but I mean, she tripped over a vine and just face planted <laughs> the grass. But I mean, honestly, she fell over so many times. She falls over now on red carpets all the time. I mean, she literally <laughs> is just the clumsiest person ever. And your character, hair and makeup, was really big in this movie. What was that whole process like? It was it was intense, just because you know prosthetic work takes a long time. It was about two to three hours in hair and makeup, and and then when I had to have the growth, I had to do the bald cap and then the growth over it. So it was like four hours. It was pretty pretty wild, but I like it. I mean, I like that you can sort of have assistance in the art of transformation, you know, mm. that it, it doesn't have to all be on you, you know. Yeah, because they, they are the best at what they do, you they know, really like, they're really amazing at, like, all the... I remember when we did Catching Fire and we had all these boils all over mm. us, you know, it's, it's an amazing, amazing art. Um, sort of made you really appreciate it, you know what I mean? And it transforms you, it really makes yeah, you feel, it makes you feel like, 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 wow, like you're that. into it. Yeah, Bold. definitely. Awesome, well, thank you guys, the movie Thanks. was great. Thank you <laughs> thank very you. much, yeah. cool. Banks have conditioned us to trust them. What have we got from that? 25% interest rates on credit cards. They have screwed us on student loans that we can never get out from under. So Jeremy, so this movie is great, but it is exhausting. Yeah. Like emotionally exhausting when it's over. Yeah. Is it like that for you too, being in it? Yeah, I mean this, this, uh... You know, it's kind of like these guys. It's kind. It's almost like a Moby Dick. These guys are chasing the whale and they're, you know, they're, 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 uh... They go through, there are all these kind of underdogs and you know, I, I work at a hedge fund and, and there's this uh, trade of a lifetime, but it really puts them through the ringer. And at the end, they're making a lot of money on the backs of 
a catastrophe in a sense, and a lot of people are going to suffer from it. So it's so there's a kind of uh, the, the emotionally there's a real disillusionment and loss of faith. I think that happens when you read the script and then you're making the film. Yeah. Do you find yourself getting angry as you're acting out the scenes with everything that happened with yeah. the big banks and, and and the mortgage brokers? Yeah, I mean definitely. I mean it's not a world that I really knew anything about, and I don't think the audience needs to know anything about it either to see it and to understand what it's about. But the character I play, uh, he's he's a guy from Queens. He has a very kind of strong uh, attitude uh, uh, about um, about corruption and about responsibility. He has a very strong ethical core and so he had a real mistrust for, for the system and that allowed him I think to see what no one else saw which was this kind of big tidal wave coming that was going to just uh, destroy the, the economy. You mentioned your character Vinny and I, and I noticed when I'm watching the film there's a nuance that, that you're chewing gum yeah. incessantly in the film and I, it's kind of like a nerdy actor question but I'm curious yeah. Is that something that they tell you to do, or do you read the script and just go, my guy's a, an obsessive gum chewer? No, it's a great question. That, that was something that when I went to spend some time with Vinny in New York at his hedge fund, uh, where he works now, I just noticed that he was always chewing gum. So, I, so it was something that sort of viscerally uh, helped me. I'm sure the world's banks have more incentives than greed. You're wrong. We have to act now. Yeah. The uh, the acting is so great um, throughout the film. You know, Isn't I mean, it? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. And, you know, there's no scenes in the movie that you can sort of go get popcorn or go to the bathroom. I mean, right. every, every scene is... is well, that's what you intense. mean by exhausting. It's just, yeah. it's really gripping. You know, it's almost like, I kind of see it as like a thriller. It's like a disaster movie. It's really, you're kind of on the edge of your seats. And at the same time, you've got Adam McKay you know, who made Step Brothers and, and, and Anchorman, and it's really funny, and, you know, you know, it kind of breaks out of every frame you try and put it in. And, and, and at the same time, it's a movie about, it's kind of a, I see it as a snapshot of our whole country and the times we're living in. I got time for one more. Yeah. So you, you were in Lincoln, yeah. and you played uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. Uh, do you, are you trying to own the presidential assassination uh. genre? It's been really kind of profoundly meaningful to be part of these films that are about these really important moments in our in our history as a country. Outside of it, it's uh, it's intense, yeah. <laughs> and this movie is intense, The Big Short, and it's phenomenal, and it'll probably do very well in, in Oscar season. Thank you so much. Congratulations, great I'm movie. so glad you liked it. Yeah, I loved it, Thanks. yeah.